Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, people. I'm Rudiawan, and today I'm going to report live from Absari Park in Surabaya, is Java Province, Indonesia, because the this is uh, the there is a big action. The theme is uh, the action for Palestine. We know that thousands of people have gathered here uh, for supporting our brothers and sisters in Palestine that getting uh, oppression and even killed by uh, Jewish Zionist uh, occupiers. And uh, for for more uh, information, we want to uh, talk with the speaker, uh, Mr. Faik Furkan. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. How are you today? Sir? Alhamdulillah. So, uh, can't see those people. Uh, yes. Have better yeah for supporting our brothers and sisters right yes. so uh maybe you can you can talk to us okay. about the good the of this action today okay the goal right the purpose of this action is actually to defend our muslim brothers and sisters and uh in general uh, all palestinian people in, in in the land of palestine why because we are muslim we are mu'min uh, all Muslim, all believers is the uh, brothers. As Allah subhanahu, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Surah Al-Hudurat, All the believers, all mu'min are brothers. <coughs> Therefore, this is actually a small participant of our brothers and sisters in Indonesia, in East Java, in Surabaya. Why? Because this, the number of East Java people is more than more than Surabaya, more than uh, four or five uh, million, right? Oh, my mean, <coughs> in general, Indonesia, Indonesia, more than uh, 155 million people. Therefore, actually, we are Muslim people in Indonesia have to come together to stand up with the Muslim Palestinian, with Palestinian in general. Why? Because non believers, non believers in Europe in many other continent in the world actually they are standing up norwegians uh what is uh, spain almost and and also irlandian and many others they are stand up for the the the, the, the liberation or the establishment the formal establishment of a palestinian country therefore we muslim have to stand up this is a wake up call actually this is wake up because this is obligation. This is obligation of our faith because we are Muslim. We are Muslim. Okay. Thank you. That uh, that's amazing, actually. Right. Uh, uh, so, what is the hope for the action in the future? Right. Our expectation, our hope, is to make uh, awareness, right? Muslim awareness. This is the awareness of iman, uh, kesadaran. Iman, the awareness of faith, right? Yes. This is, uh, I hope that Muslim in the world, Muslim in the world, especially our brothers and Muslim in Indonesia, aware that there is an ethnic cleansing. There is what is called genocide. More than forty thousand people in Palestine already the victims, already dying, and many others, many thousand injured therefore in gaza we already know what happened in gaza now in rafa we already know what is now happening in rafa therefore if we are not uh, waking up if we are not standing up or if we are done getting up when uh, already uh, forty thousand people dying there and they Day, day to day, the Jewish people, the Zionist people, uh, the Jewish state, what is it, Bombard, uh, yeah, the reason, if we, if we uh, don't call the United Nations or Muslim leaders, all leaders in the world, to stop the killing, to stop the genocide, and especially, this is uh, maybe already, what is it, uh, this is already, what is Allah said that uh, in Surah Al Isra, wa qadina ila bani Isra ila fil ardi, atif sidinna fil ardi, 
This is the time that the Jewish people are arrogant in the world. They combat people, Muslim people, and person in the world. That I hope that all of you, my brothers and sisters, not be pessimistic because the future belongs to the Muslim. So therefore, we hope that uh, you are already aware that uh, this is very serious and very Thank you. This is the very serious uh, problem, problem of the Palestinian people. We as Muslims uh, okay. in Indonesia, okay. now it's time to be what? It's time to uh, unite our all of the Muslims, not only in Indonesia but also in the world. Yeah, this is. I forget to say that let's mm -hmm. unite mm -hmm. all Muslim brothers and sisters in the world because we can only fight and winning the fight after we are united and and uh, rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that the great war in the future if that happen and the winning will be muslim if we are already united and mashallah now we are we have we have actually more than 50 countries in the world if more than muslim more than 50 countries in the world united together and fight against Jewish, inshallah they will win and this will happen if we have one leader in the world and one leader is one khilafah and this is the what is called the promise of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and i believe the promise of allah this is uh the wa'dullah al khilafah wa'dullah al khilafah is the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Five Son. I talk about the the thing and the book. Our action today, and I hope all of you don't stop to talk about culture. Not only here, but also in social media. How care all of the uh, our, our, uh, our story. Yes, as yes, right. I forget that. Mm -hmm. My brothers and sisters, our that the problem of Palestine is not only the problem for Palestinians. This is also the problem for us because we are Muslim. And Al Aqsa is the land of Muslim in the world, right? This is true because Allah said, Subhanallah. Asro bi abdi laylam min al masjid al haramu ilal masjid al aqsa. Therefore, problem of Palestine is also problem for us as Muslim, and also for problem for Indonesian people, for Saudi people, for Sudan people, for American people, for England, for Europe, for Russia, and also all the world is also your problem. Because if you are Muslim, then your heart is also in the heart. Of Masjid Al Aqsa, right? This is thank you so much for your next tension and for the life from Atarifa, Surabaya, Java Province, Indonesia. I'm Rudy Alex, and of Salamalik.